Hey there. So we're just uh I was out at the garden. It's uh it's pouring rain. It's probably only about uh 7 degrees, so I'm you know, just clipping the last of the tomatoes, even the green ones. There'll uh will be another video for the garden, but what I wanted to do was uh think of a way to transist my videos into some prepping videos because now as fall comes, um I'll still have some gardening and some inside stuff and a couple of tips for outdoor winter gardening. There's a few things with raised boxes that we can do. But uh, what I wanted to do was pick the one thing <clears throat> that I think is the most important prepping tool. And it took me a while to, you know, come up with it. It's not a multi-tool. It's not, you know, this or that. So I was trying to think of a video to make to show what I think is the most important thing. So I thought, you know, is it going to be my, my water is it going to be my firewood? Is it going to be, you know, and I decided that, you know, the most important thing to think about is knowledge. And, you know, you can go out and you can buy a whole bunch of books. You can spend a lot of money doing stuff like that. I personally am not one of those people. I have taken the time to uh, go on the Internet. It's one of our best resources before, you know, a grid down situation. It's got absolutely any knowledge that you're ever looking for is going to be on there. You know, you might have to sift through some people who think they know what they're talking about and don't, but, you know, whether it's complete books that are available online or recipes or instructional videos, YouTube videos, you know, anything that you can get your hands on that some sort of knowledge is going to help you in the long run. You know, some of the stuff you might even want to get that you already know the knowledge but you want to have it in print form so you can show other people you know you might not be the best teacher you might not you know be able to get your information across so you know you want to get a ton of things so you know we go I've got a whole bunch of binders here right now and what they are is just a you know most of them are in sections but they're still not organized as much as I'd like them to but you know you go through and there's everything from uh, you know how to this is canning meat and poultry this first whole section here is on canning and then you know the next section is actually on gardening it's how growing anything from garlic to carrots to you know onions and absolutely anything you know a lot of this I even know but that's not the point the point is you know there may be things in here I didn't know and also there may be people who want to know this stuff who are with me that I don't have time to sit down and teach them absolutely everything. So, you know, we put them into sections with little tabs here so that we can flip to, you know, different sections. Try and see, so, you know, there's anything from, you know, this one's all about making soap, homemade soap, and how to make lye out of household things. And, you know, a lot of this, you can't just print it off, put it in a binder, close the binder, and hope that, you know, in a grid-down situation, this will help you. What you want to do is print off information that you think will be valuable to you, and then take a look and read it. And then say, oh, you know, I might need something, some part of this recipe that I don't have. You know, something as simple as, oh, maybe we need more vinegar than we ever had. So, you know, you can put a bunch of vinegar back to make sure, or, you know, anything like that. You know, there's just tons and tons of sections in this book. Um, you know, butchering wild game, and butchering rabbit, and deers, and how to skin them. So, I mean, it goes on and on. This is one of the most... Uh, organized pamphlet or binders that we have. There's how to build root cellars for all your vegetables that you want to dry and keep for a long time. So you know that's just one of the books and then you know they got this one here is all on uh, livestock so you know different types of chickens, different types of livestock, cows, goats, anything. It gives you all different breakdowns of what kinds are good and how to treat them and what kinds work in better situations than others. This binder over here's got a lot of uh, wood-related things, you know, whether it's drying wood or what woods are better than others, how to kill and dry, how to air dry, you know, it just keeps going. What to do when you have a bunch of wood, you can, you know, if we mill it and you can build structures with it. And then uh, there's a bunch here on uh, building wind windmills and wind turbines. We have one of those. That's another video that I'm going to have to show. Um, this one over here is actually... Uh, almost a, a pre-grid down one. This is uh, th 
the exam on your uh, ham radio, but it also gives you, you know, all the questions, not just the questions on the exam. So, you know, someone in a grid down situation that doesn't know how to use your ham radio, they can, you know, go through this pamphlet and read it as opposed to, you know, you sitting down and trying to teach this wealth of knowledge in here. You know, you can be there as a guide and almost as a teacher to give pointers. You know, and then the back of this book is um, all of your gun licensing. So, you know, all the safeties, all the usage and, you know, manuals for different guns, loading, unloading, and all that kind of stuff. Once again, you may know it, but you may not have someone near you that knows it and you may need to use these binders. There's another one here is on uh, wine making and uh, different ways to, you know, produce from uh, different plants. There's dandelion wine, burdock wine, there's a ton of different, you know, and that can be very useful, you know, if, you know, you're looking for something to trade or you're even looking just to lift the spirits of the people in your area with you. And then this one here is, it's a printed off book. I won't uh, get the title or anything, but you know, it's basically a step by step uh, during a, a nuclear war. And I mean, that, you know, isn't necessarily what's going to happen, but the amount of information that comes with that is not all, you know, nuclear detonation, nuclear fallout. There's a ton of stuff on survival and purifying water and starting fires. You know, it's all in there from start to finish. So, you know, what you want to do is start small and, you know, if you have a printer or if, you know, you could even write it down by hand if there's recipes or specific things that you want. But, you know, just taking that time now, while well, you still have the internet and you still have electricity for that matter. So, you know, in a grid down situation, these binders can come in really good use. Just something to think about as we start our prepping videos and uh, stay tuned for some of the other videos I was talking about that I'm going to have up soon. Thanks for watching.